What's a header or a footer in a PowerPoint presentation? This is the text or numbering that goes in the margins of my slides, typically on the bottom, like the date on this title slide, and this footer text and slide number on the rest of my slides. Additionally, I can apply headers and footers to handouts that I'll print for my audience. These range from header text and a date, to a page number for the handout, and a path to this presentation file's location. Time to answer the burning question. How do I add headers and footers like these? To start with, I'll focus on slides. I want a slide number on each slide. I click the Insert tab, and then click Header and Footer in the text group. The Header and Footer dialog box has all the options I'll need. It defaults to the Slide tab. The slide options include a date, a slide number, and footer text. To put a slide number on each slide, I'll select Slide Number. The preview indicates where this will appear on the slide. I'd also like our company name on every slide as a footer. That's what this footer option enables me to do. Again, the preview indicates in boldface where the footer will appear. I want these settings throughout my slideshow, so I click Apply to All. There are my footers, the text and slide number, applied to every slide. The slide numbers will update automatically if I add or delete slides. Here's an issue, though. I don't want or need these footers on slide 1, which already has the company name and serves as a kind of cover page. Can I omit them just from slide 1? Yes, there's an option just for that. I open the header and footer dialog box again, and I select this, Don't Show on Title Slide. The footers disappear from slide 1, but remain on the other slides. Let me note something here. If I select Slide 1, the title slide, and open the dialog box, the footer and slide number checkboxes show as unchecked. That's because the Don't Show on Title Slide option is selected. These options are still selected for the other slides, though. Now what I would like on the first slide is a date. In the Header and Footer dialog box, I select the Date and Time option, and then I set it to automatically update whenever I open the presentation. I select a format for the date. Before I save these selections, there's a little bit of trickiness to explain. Remember how I selected the Don't Show on Title Slide option before, so my other footers wouldn't show on the title slide? I need to clear that selection now, or the date settings I've selected won't show either. To save my date setting, this time I'll click Apply instead of Apply to All. That will place the date footer just on this slide. The Apply button saves settings to the selected slide only. There's the date footer, applied just to my title slide. The subsequent footers remain unchanged. What if I want to change how the footers look, their font color or font size, for example? To do this kind of formatting, first I need to switch views. I'll click the View tab. To save myself work, I don't make formatting changes one by one to each footer on a slide. I make the change once, on the Slide Master which I open from the Presentation Views group. Here's a little background about Master View. The slides here contain all the styles and layouts available in the presentation. The top slide is the Slide Master. Within the Slide Master, there are several layout designs. When I pick a type of layout for a new slide in Normal View, my slide gets the look, arrangement, and styles of the corresponding layout in Master View. A specific example is the layout that's for title slides. My slide 1 in the presentation uses a title slide layout, which is based on this title slide master layout. Now I want to make a formatting change that will apply to all slides, regardless of layout. So I need to make the change on the slide master, the big slide on the top. The footer placeholders are here. I want to make the footer's font color a little brighter throughout. So I'll change the font color here on the slide master. I start by selecting each footer placeholder. I press Shift to select more than one at a time. Clicking the Home tab, I'll go to the Font group and click the Font Color button, changing the color from blue-gray to red. Let's see how my change is reflected on the slides in the presentation. To return to Normal View, I can click the Normal button at the bottom of the window. As I expect, the footers are red. Great. 
my slide footers are in place and look the way I want them to. My next task is to prepare handouts for the audience, and I'll want different headers and footers for those. In the next demo, I'll show you how to do that.